consistent with my vision and my assignment. And while it is true that I want to activate streams of income, it will not be at the detriment of my assignment. And so you must structure your life in such a manner that you can activate multiple streams of income and then at the same time conserve your time as much as possible. Praise the Lord. Write this down. There is a, an equation for financial freedom. Financial freedom is equal to financial abundance plus time plus peace of mind. That you have money does not mean you are financially free. Financial freedom is equal to financial abundance, the availability of the resources plus time. There are people who have money but no time. No time to pray. No time to build. No time to spend a quality time with their children and their loved ones and their families. No time at all. They tell you no time. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. They started doing that when they were 20. Now they are 55. I'm busy. I'm busy. And then they die. Because on the seventh day, God rested. You, you are in the ninth day. You have not rested. You will die. Hallelujah. Let me tell you the reason why it's so easy to be rich in the 21st century. In the school of prosperity, especially in the 21st century, almost any and everything has a demand. There is a demand for almost any and everything. This is the reason why there should be no one here seated under the sound of my voice that in the next three years, in the next five years, should be poor. Impossible. There is a demand for just any and everything. The world is a global village. There is a demand for just anything. See? Right now, even people's laugh has brought them millions. Somebody just laughs. Is it not your ringtone? Oh, yes. Somebody just laughs around and does everything. That's side A. Does another one. That's side B. You see that? And you put it as your ringtone. And you go and download it. And you do a lot of things. Anything at all. Anything. A lady, because she has nice fingers, will make millions. Because she will market the ring of a jewelry company. They just keep putting rings on her hand. For every ring, $100,000. Can you imagine? Just for having a nice finger. There is a demand for anything. So you have been playing with that in your hand. Could it be that that's the rod of God? Just for being fine. You can wipe poverty away from your life forever. Right? Just for being not fine. You can still wipe poverty away from your life because you can be used in both ways. It depends on the message that is being communicated. Um, I'm just I'm speaking generally. There is a demand for everything. Absolutely everything. No matter how little the skill is, there is a demand for it. Look at how pastors, you may sit down and think that there are already too many pastors. Allow the glory of God to come upon your life and see how many people will scrounge, scrounge after that. From today till Wednesday, non-stop, I have ministrations every day. I have a meeting morning and evening. You will think there are already enough pastors. No, no, there are 7.2 billion people. Right? You think there are enough people selling pure water or whatever. It's because you do not know how many people are on earth when you know there is a demand for anything. And I told you the formula. Once there is a demand, there is money. You go and meet somebody and say, borrow me 10 naira. He'll tell you, I cannot. But sell something, he will pay you for it. In the 21st century, brothers and sisters, you are only limited by your creativity. You are only limited by your creativity. Ah! There is a mighty financial army that will rise. Even if you don't pay attention to this, I know that there are millions of people who will take this message and will run with it. There's an army rising up. 
There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Write one word down. We're almost done. Creativity. Please write it. This is an important key in the school of prosperity. Creativity. What does it mean to be creative? Creativity is the ability to birth new or improved ideas. Oh, this is key to your life. The ability to birth new or improved ideas. If you lack this one ability, you will never be rich. Because that's the key to being different. That's the key to being unique. It's not just what you do. It's the uniqueness in it. And the key to being unique is hidden in one word. Creativity. The first revelation of God in the Bible was not as a savior. It was as a creator. And he created us in that image. Creativity. What we were born to do. Anyone who has a mind has the capacity to be creative. Your destiny is at the mercy of your creativity. This gentleman can produce this. 30 minutes of deep, intense worship just with instruments. And he will pray and fast and train himself and just package something like this. He can call it anything. The Jew of Heaven, part one. Millions of these copies will be sold because people will put it in their phones. Can have a contract with most of the, 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 the people, iPhones and, and iTunes and all of these people. And they can put it, they can even put it by default in many gadgets. And it's blessing people. Millions of people are buying it. And this guy is getting blessed because there is a demand for everything. That's why Don Wen will never be poor. I know you gave your life to Christ as his son, but he became rich because you bought the thing. Yes, he never seen it, he never slumbers, but you bought it. Or at least it was given to you. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain. 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 Creativity is the key to effectively creating a demand for your gifts or your potentials. The reason why nobody has placed a demand on your gift is because you have not added creativity to it. The reason why your shop looks like that of every other person is because you are not creative about it. Let me tell you, in the world of prosperity, you lose by becoming like every other person. Your uniqueness is what stands you out. Your competitive advantage There is what you get in Koinonia that you will never get anyway. It cannot be cloned. There is what you get from my life that you cannot get anywhere. There is what I should get from your life that I cannot get anywhere. This is your key to prosperity. Men will never come to you if there is an alternative to you. They will come to you to the degree to which you are uncommon. I hear the chains falling. Falling. I hear the chains falling. I will give you four streams of income that can help you. That's that's all we'll touch for this. Um, there are at least eight. I call them recession-proof streams of income. They are all in the Bible. But I'll give only four here. School of Ministry students will add two more. And then that's about it. Any other one? 
has to be in a business or a corporate platform. Ready? Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 2. If we can get NIV, please give us NIV quickly. I hear the chains. Can we get NIV? Okay, fine. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 2. Please, let's save time. Will you break every chain? Break every chain. It says, give portions to seven. Yea, to eight. For you do not know what disaster may come upon the land. Right? What other version do I have? It says, it says, I can't remember the version now, not, not amplified. It says, invest in seven places, yea, in eight. Uh, what was that version? I don't know, one of these new versions. For you do not know what disaster may come upon the land. In other words, scatter your streams. Right? That concept of lay your egg in one basket is nonsense. Throw away that theology. Poor people said that. That's why they are poor. When the basket falls, what do you do? You die with it there. Listen. Thank you. God bless you. NLT. It says, but divide your investments among many places. For you do not know what risks my life ahead. I hear the chains. I love the Bible. Hey, yeah. Mm. Number one, land. Land. Everybody write it down. Land. Open bracket. Land and anything you can get under it, on it, and above it. It's all called land. You know it as real estate. Land. Together with anything under it, on it, and above it. Look at me. You are not rich if you do not own land. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Write it so that you don't forget. I don't care what else you have. You are poor if you do not own land. Because land is a fixed asset. It cannot be stolen. Even if a bomb falls on that land, it can only affect what is on it. You will not see a big hole suddenly looking at you. Land is one of the greatest communications of God's justice and mercy upon the inhabitants of the earth. I'll stop there. Land. Two. Education. I'm giving you four fail-proof streams of income. Under education, write the following. Anything, whether speaking, writing, or setting up structures that transfer knowledge. Education is all about imparting knowledge. The Bible gives us a clue into becoming rich. He said, before the coming of Christ, knowledge shall increase. There will be an unsatiable demand for knowledge. That means anything you do that will transfer knowledge to people, is a guaranteed source of wealth. There's nothing to hide. There's no secret about it. There's no secret there in the first place. Education. Speaking. How many people rake in millions of dollars every week just because they are able to communicate. They are not just talking. They are transferring knowledge. Imagine that this was a business meeting and everybody is paying 100,000 for the seminar. Calculate how many people. 100,000 times all the people we have, including all those who are online. And I'm doing the same thing. I don't need to talk louder. I don't need to shout more. The exact same thing. Ten years after I have preached this, or I have said this, or I have delivered this lecture, I will still be getting paid for education. One of the cheapest aspects of education is writing. The ability to document your persuasion. For as long as you think there is something you want the world to hear, you can document it. 
the only problem is what many people call book writing is nonsense they are just hungry people looking for money so there is no excellence and no creativity and at the end of it only hundred copies are sold and the books are tells you please get out but there is a key purpose-driven life right Rick Warren that one book brought tens and hundreds of millions of dollars it was so profound they had to create a workbook for it love and respect there are many books that have become bestsellers rediscovering the kingdom because individuals documented strong persuasions that rattled the ideologies of continents could there be a persuasion in your life right now that you need to birth and bring out you are sitting upon a gold mine and yet you are crying crying for food and crying for water the only limitation to your life should be the voice of God not lack of creativity it's God speaking to us education number three your job your job paid employment it's a stream of income so your job is not bad you can get a job at least you receive salary from it and the beautiful part of that is that your salary can solve your short-term needs because you know every month a fixed income is coming so it can give you room to focus on other things that will take time to build how many have i given uh let's stop at the last one transportation the only reason why oil and gas is useful is because there are human beings that need to move around we love oil and gas but we hate transportation how unwise i know that the resources are also used for a lot of things but did you know that for as long as there are human beings on earth there must be movement you studied something that was a clue to your prosperity but you forgot remember what we i think it was in biology social studies mr niger huh? biology mr niger movement as part of the quality of living things is that not true that was the key to your wealth that you have been neglecting every day immediately after koinonia now listen every week i don't know how okay i have an idea you cannot imagine how much is given to the transport companies that transport people without fail every week is that not true transportation if they were your bosses it would have been your money are you getting what i'm saying how many people have had three hundred thousand four hundred thousand and then they use it to buy two phones foolishness whereas the phone is not bringing you anything there are sometimes in that big phone only 300 naira will be there and you can't make any call you cannot even browse whereas you would have been able to buy even if it was a small golf these are the kinds of businesses that you don't even need to know how to drive right the 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 the, the driver that carries me around he started driving me three years ago and within that three years he has bought two extra cars two extra cars and I tell you, a large percentage of that was for my money. Think about that. They are always happy. They, you never see them frowning. They are smiling because every time he sees me, he sees his destiny. And for as long as I need his services, I will keep paying for it. How many of you are sitting on millions, hundreds of thousands, roaming around, whereas or trying to get rooms and apartments to prove a point that does not have to be proved you want to show people now you live in a three bedroom flat that is empty with one small mattress in one of the rooms and people think you are a big boy you are not big you are small whereas something would have been bringing you income let me tell you something the transport sector is a mysterious sector people have never studied it's a sector that starts bringing you money instantly from the first day the car goes out by evening money is coming 5 a.m in the morning brothers and sisters there are people who get up begging whether it is town service whether it is wherever
I know someone who bought Kekena pen. Right? He just bought one, I think, second year or something like that. And then when he bought that Kekena pen, I think about 12,000 12, comes in every week. 12,000. He just went and registered it with the association, National Union, those their union. And then he's around praising the Lord and giving tithe every week. And you are saying, this guy is here a thief. No, 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 no. Do you have to be smart to do that? You just have to be. And that's why I told you, there is no reason, brothers and sisters, for people to be poor. What's wrong with five people coming together? You all have 50, 50,000. Have a very well-defined term. You don't need to wait till you have one million. What's wrong with three or four people coming together? All of them having 100,000. And you buy a golf. In four, five months, you are broken even. And you can buy another one. And then buy another one. While that is happening, you are busy increasing your financial intelligence. How much have you spent from January to this year? To, to now? Some of you, millions. Look at how many of our parents are sitting down and getting angry at people. How many times did they pay them arrears of millions? What did they do with it? They went to a club and called friends and blew the money. They blew one golf away in one night to prove that their arrears has arrived. And yet we keep blaming God. But tonight God is giving somebody intelligence. You don't need to register any company. You don't need to know anybody. With an average car or an average golf, at least 3,000 is coming for you every day. This is the minimum. In seven days, it's 21,000 for doing nothing. You don't need to go to school. You don't need to know. But there are many people sitting on you. And when you see blessed people, you think they are arrogant. They are not. They are not. The income that comes to your hand is in direct proportion to the demand. The transport sector. There are many people dreaming, I will go into oil and gas. I will go into oil and gas. How much do you know it takes to start oil and gas? You want to be a thief? Can't you start gradually? How many people are sitting on 5 million, 10 million that are waiting to buy oil blocks of billions? You have eaten your own prosperity by yourself. How many people have started popcorn? Popcorn inside ABU. Is that not true? Popcorn. I will never forget years ago when one of, I think that was in 2006 or 7, I wanted to start one popcorn machine, popcorn business in New Bamadi, and I wanted somebody to manage for me. So I needed to, I sent him to go and do a research for me on everything. I was surprised when the, the owner of the popcorn said he makes 5,000 naira every day. Every day. You are eating, you bought it 30 naira. But many just like you are paying for it. And he said during orientation and uh, uh, what we call it, graduation matric, it can skyrocket to as much as 15,000, 20,000. There is no single ice cream machine in Zaria. Not that all those ones that they, they, they put the thing as if it's tough. I'm talking of real, a standard. Look at this. There are many of you sitting down. What's wrong with 10 people? Who come in with creativity? About 250,000 will buy that thing and go and open up something. I guarantee you, in one month, you will make your money back. That's how desperate it is. I, I like ice cream like what? There's a place in Abuja. Every time they see me, they're happy because they, my money will finish there. I can't make it, so I must pay for it. Whatever you cannot do for yourself, be sure to pay for it. If you ever get it free, someone paid for it. Who is God speaking to tonight? I'm showing you streams. I'm a student. I'm young. Very soon you'll find out that the difference between you and graduation is one exam. Just one. And you come out and say, it's a lie. If you say, get out of here, you are finished. Go, 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 go. Why should you be poor when there is such a demand? A demand. There are, look, let me tell you something. If you have 20, 20 of any of the things I mentioned, there will still not be enough demand. How many saloons are in Italy? There are about 40,000 students. 40,000 students or more. And about 60% of those people are ladies. Count the number of saloons you have in your campus. Are they up to 10? 
I doubt if they are up to 10. Servicing at least 10 or 20,000 people. If you have 1,000 more of those things, it will still not be enough. And yet we criticize those who are producing because we have been, we have been wired to consume. That's all we do. Those who produce are the ones who are working. Many of us are, are going into food. Question. If we don't buy the food, why don't you get into businesses that do not need refrigeration and all of these things? I, I don't know about you, but I don't like things that give me heart attack. You see that? That's why I hate businesses that have to do with many people. One person's fight with his wife will affect my diligence. I don't like that. I like to be responsible. I like to be responsible for my, my diligence or otherwise. I can't let another person's carelessness cancel everything I've done. No. If I do well, let me be commended. If I do bad, that's why all those kind of things, shipping vegetables from here to Port Harcourt, I will get into those kind of things. You can do that, but no way. So if the man is drunk on the way, I suffer because of his drunkenness. I don't like those kinds of things. This is me personally. You have been sitting on a gold mine, wishing that things will change. But God is speaking to you. Especially for those of us who are working. You are earning your 50, 50,000. Why don't you close your eyes and be determined that for the next six months you are going to save? Let me tell you something. Write it down. Never borrow money as much as possible. Or don't borrow money as much as, much as possible. This is a difficult thing, I know. I'm human, trust me. It's a very difficult thing. But I want you to make a vow today with your life that as much as God grants you the grace, you will never borrow money. The borrower is slave to the lender. Say it after me. Borrowing will put you in slavery forever. You can be addicted to borrowing. Borrowing is like drugs. Because it comes easy. When you borrow five naira, you will borrow hundred thousand. You will borrow five million until you find out that you are in debt of five hundred million and you cannot know where it came from because of borrowing. A borrower. Some of you, as you are sitting down right now, not just from anything, maybe business failure or whatever, your own personal debts that you are eating, everything you are wearing and the room you are staying off in, you borrowed money for it. You are smiling. But there is a pile of debt that is growing. And you are borrowing to keep servicing it. You will be a slave forever. It is one of the Babylonian system. That's why you notice I never talked about borrowing. I'm sorry, I know that this insults a lot of your business. But I don't believe it. In business, we teach that there's good debt and there's bad debt. You use good debt as a leverage. You use bad debt for consumption. No debt is the kingdom's way. No debt. Say it. Shout it again. After hearing all that I've told you today, you can choose to be emotional about what I've said and get up and return back like someone returning back to his vomit. Or you can make up your mind and say, this is it. I've come to the end of myself. Lord, I'm ready to begin to take decisions. Listen, the key to producing anything in life is to adjust. The most predictable thing in life is change. Change is the most predictable thing. Whether you participate in it or not, it must happen. There are two kinds of people. There are victims of change and there are initiators of change. Whether or not you want things to change, it must change. Listen, a time will come, all your friends will rise and leave you if you don't change. You will either be a victim of the change or a benefactor and an initiator. In Nigeria, many people are the recipients of change. The wealthy people are the initiators of it. I choose to be in that category. I refuse to just be a benefactor of change or just a, a, a victim. Whatever happens, I write it. In. No, sir. We are going to pray. Rise up on your feet. Psalm 66, please. Psalm 66, verse 12. Psalm 66, 
verse 12. Media, can you help us please? Psalm 66. Please everybody rise. This is a very serious moment right now. It's a defining moment for many of us. Everyone read. One, two, read. It says we went through fire. We went through water. We went through times of hardship and turbulence. But by your wisdom, you have brought us into a way.